Hey there, this is Damon, the Global Gardener at the Idaho Botanic Gardens in Boise. Behind me is a beech tree that's been a spalier on a trellis system. That's something I have never seen before or even considered, putting a ornamental tree like that, especially a large beech tree. Um, the, it's the gardens here are on the penitentiary grounds, old penitentiary grounds, where the inmates would grow potatoes for themselves and each other. Uh, here's a Verbena bonariensis. These have the, these are really interesting because they have a square stem. It's really unique to these. Um, and they, they spread around real good and they're very insectary. Insects love them, butterflies and things. Here's some Nicotiana. It's a tobacco, ornamental tobacco. Here's, these are wonderful, the uh, Verbino bonariensis. Oh, it's like uh, ah, lemon drop candy. Delicious, makes a wonderful tea. I suppose that's what they might have made candies with originally because they're so flavorful and lemony. Um, Ch Choicea ternata, botanic name. Let's see, there's lots of coleus foliage in here. But uh, there's this really neat, just little arbor and a water feature featuring a sort of honeypot type shape. Uh, there was an English garden back there. There's a rose garden in direction this. It looks pretty well maintained. There's a volunteer taking pictures of the other volunteer doing the work. Here's a cardoon. They look like artichokes. If you saw the Beacon Food Forest videos, you saw cardoon there. See, the botanic name is Cynora cardunculus. Show that one up close. And it's more of the stems that you eat, more than the, like, artichokes you eat the flower. But the cardoon, you eat the stems. Wow, lots of beauties here. Ooh, and they're trimming the lavender, and it smells fantastic. You can get some dried lavender out of that. So yeah, you, you walk through the penitentiary grounds to get to the plants in the botanic garden and it's just like a big lawn area. Pretty, a uh, little strange I think. But if they were growing their own food when they were penitentiarized, uh, then I guess it's maybe appropriate and that they're not here anymore is even better. Just, uh, all kinds of helleboras. Uh, this is a wonderful shade garden. Cucara. So there's Helibor and Heucara is this plant here. Heucara, the Helibors are these green leafed ones. The, the creeping jenny you see all along there, Lismachia, is uh, very, uh, it's pretty bulletproof. It's also very weedy, so it's not, I don't really recommend it unless it's in containers because it, once it escapes captivity, oh look. They have piles of it back there that the volunteers are removing. Huge mountain of it. There's lots of uh, birches in here. Not the white birches, but a little more general river birches. Um, what else is in the shade garden? Well, of course, hostas. Standard shade plant. I don't see... Oh, there's a, there's a few ferns in here. Ferns are another good one for a shade garden. Uh, there's sort of this useless lawn area in the middle. And I guess maybe for, for ceremonies such as weddings and whatnot. Um, here's a nine bark. They like water and shade. This is a really neat curvy bench. 
the irises have been cut back already. Oh, there's a little bunny. There's a little bunny running down the pathway. Probably can't see it. Um, here's a, a cotinus, a smoke bush, that generally they like a lot of sun. And it looks like this gets a lot of sun in the afternoon. Hello, Jonas. There's Jonas. He was hail Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 There's a uh, hollyhock, very tall, it's like seven feet tall. Those like sun too, so this must get sun in the later in the day. Here's a lot of creeping thyme that fills in the pathway that Jonas is walking on. Hi Jonas. Ah. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> My friend that I'm staying with, son. Lots of seeds on those. The seed heads can be peeled off and spread around, and those will proliferate. I just knocked them. I just knocked them. Here's a castor bean. A buggy. Yeah. I got the big beans. It's the oil from the seeds that makes castor oil. And supposedly in gopher areas, they'll. They'll scare out the gophers. I'm gonna step in here. Oh, oh, pineapple sage. Here's an. Here's my other favorite smelly leaf. Pineapple sage. Oh, smell this one, Jonas. Mmm. Yeah. Smells like pineapple and sage a little bit. Delicious. This actually almost looks like a pineapple. That's funny. Um, I'm trying to weave my way through things to show you these thorns. I have never seen this before. It looks like in the rose family, not just judging by the thorns, but by the leaves. But they like glow in the sunshine and the sun goes through them. They're just bright red. It's really neat. I don't know if this has a name. Rosaceae, somebody or other. No, it's too, uh, it's in the middle because it's thorny. And it's got like the tiny thorns that are more hairy, filbros, and then the, the just spiky rose thorns. So here's a nice patch of the Verbena bonariensis. I don't know if you can see it. It's, uh, butterflies love that kind of thing. There's some echinacea in here, and cleome is another good insectary flower. Yeah, there's all kinds of large bees. There's a bumblebee. Bumblebee, bumblebee right there, Jonas. Bumblebee. I saw that. Yeah. Uh, it's got a big abdomen. It's a big, big abdomen, yes. And there's a European honeybee. Uh, Look at that. Eh, uh, you just put his abdomen in the flower. <laughs> like yep. a butt. Uh huh. They like collect all that Why nectar and to go to spread around the genetics. Why he has to go poo poo? There's a <laughs> agastache in there. Those are also very fragrant. Maybe this is some kind of fragrant garden in here. Awesome. So I think that's the part of the tour for now. We'll close in on the, the turret and see you in the next video.